as the three of us travel alongside a stream that winds towards our destination. We happen upon a death that way far, fire, way fair, a fair. Okay, she looks like Kalila. Come on, trees. Cornordal, the ground some other time. This peasant girl could be seen impatiently tapping a foot beside the corpse in question. Oh, a corpse? It was easy to see why he had succumbed. An absurd amount of project gear was strapped to his back, enough that it pretty a bird his prawn figure. Ah, oh, poor Twist. You shouldn't rush him since he's carrying your stuff too, Kalea. He's just carrying my usual bag. The rest is junk I told him to leave behind. He always brings a bunch of garbage we need to actually use whenever we have projects. Jeez. As Alona begins leveraging Twist from his burden, Blatter crouches down next to his body and stretches out her hand. Oh. Uh. Her hand held as she, the body in question suddenly stirs and rises to his feet. It's alive! Watch out, Letter! It's a zombie! Zombie? It's a renamed corpse that likes eating people's brain! Uh. Trying to eat people is bad, Mr. Zombie. Zombie. Faced with the letter's inexorable admonishment, Twist seems seemed at a loss. Hope you enjoyed your nap. These two were the 11-year-old Lewitt twins, Kalila, Kali, Kalia, and Twistin. Food we make and afford to work at to school together, the Lewits were habitarily late, making today a rare occurrency where all five of us were present. Now she looks like a much girl, like a she uh, um or she's just tired or fall down, I don't know. As for why Twist was carrying Kelly's bag and added it to his load, it was simple. Kalila had no arms to speak. What? Kalila had no arms to speak of below the elbows. Oh. Once from the fire of, of collapse that befell nine years ago, there were many in Sukkotwine who bore similar dysfunction. Dis oh. Okay, something bad was happening. Let's uh, look at her. Like she has a scratch here, wet, um, and she seems like uh, yeah, arms. She, I don't know if she like it looks like she has arms, but like they're not there, like hanging. And here also, yeah, that, that's explain why this her pants are like this. Oh, okay, okay. And now we know what was happening. Twist as well had not renamed Unscold. The smoke from the prismatic flames of the day had script, stripped him of his voice, rendering him mood. <sighs> okay. Oh. So basically, she is. She can't. Yeah, make stuff, but because it shows she ha ha her. So. Yeah. So they need, need each other. Basically. Because. She scratches and her arms and hands are basically disinfection. She can't make something. Uh, so sure he can help her, but he cannot talk. So she has... Oh, holy. I didn't expect something like that. <laughs> I would say it's kind of heavy. There were heavy scars, yet they never seemed to weed down the Lewis twins. Always on the move, with new things happening on their presence all the time. It made me want to continue watching them, to see where they go and where they might take me. 
Wow. Wow. Swing's really showing its full color. Yeah, let me see here. Wow. Swing's really showing its. Wow. Swing's really showing its full color even early this year. Running over in a way, wayside below Leona. Leona. I think Leona. Leona marvels in the, at the bed of flowers nestled under its eaves. Aha! I know! Over here, Loretta! Loretta waves Loretta over after picking several flowers from a particularly bun bountiful patch. Yeah. I'm going to teach you something nice to listen up! Taking Loretta's hand in hers, Loretta fruits a flower between her fingertips. One way to show people. One way to show people you care about them is to place a flower on their hair, like this. Gently handling Noleta's hand, Nolena gu guides the flower up and unfold her cavity locks. Get it? Um, I don't will share anything but shipping <laughs> I'm not the hardcore ship person I have to say but maybe a little bit after examining her newly changed appearance for a bit the letter nuts nuts nudes okay if you are not if you understand then show me the owner entrusts the rest of the flowers to Netta with a smile. Uh, after gazing at the flowers for a while, the letter seems to come to some sort of conclusion. <laughs> Kelia, Kelia, Twist, I care about you. Ugh. Ah, you don't have to listen to everything Lorona tells you, you know. In contrast to Kalis flustered with direction, Twist was special himself. With with a heartfelt bow as if he had Ah, okay, Twist. Yeah. Contrast to Kalis was expression himself with a heartfelt bow as if he had even graced by an angel. Guess it's my turn next. As Nolella reached out with the last twin flower through and cast with a spell of whimsy. At the last moment, I tilt my head to the side, causing her to miss. <laughs> Nolella attempts to place the flowers in my hair again, but I pull away once more. You won't let me? Nope. Let me. Unretail, Noletta tries to put the flower in my hair again. Noletta can be quite stubborn at times, but I just don't feel like letting her have her way. The last remaining flower. Hmm. Okay, fine. With a swook, I stop moving and keep still. Oh. But just as she's about to free the steam through my hair, poked it out of her hand, reaching up and setting upon a snow white dress instead. Uh, putting a finger to her lips. Oh, okay. <laughs> I stick my tongue out at her. Gotcha. I smile and wink triumphantly. Hmm. Uh oh, she looks pretty upset. A place. A pearl. A power white flower suits you far more than me, anyways. Huh? Oh, she's she probably is my, now my favorite girl. She's so cute and I like her. After puzzling over my words for a moment, Loretta nods quietly for herself. I need to find a flower that suit. I need to find a flower that suits Ade. How sad. It seemed there aren't any flowers left around her, ready for picking. I'm going and head ahead. 
Oh, wait, do I still need... Oh. Wait, Drew still needs help to carry his stuff. But Noletta doesn't seem to hear. Adi, uh, Kalila, could one of you let us a hand? Um, she probably not, uh, not so. <laughs> Exchanging a glance with me, Kalila dangles her empty sleeves with a strap before scraping off a hat. This calls for immediate imitation, exerts action. You got this big sis, Leona. Snapping my index fingers at her, I turn on my heels and bolt. Hey, don't only put this big sis card, card when it's convenient. Upon catching up to Kalia's side, I slow to a stall, as if I in agreement that we had witnesses, nothing. The two of us mosey along in silent solidarity. Hmm. 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 Food, I will have to say, is pretty funny how good of a mood Noletta's simple act has put Kalia. You know, it's not just Noletta. Bending forward to get a good angel of her face, I gaze into Kalia's, Kalia's eyes. I care about you too. What? Shut up! I'm not stupid. You're just trying to tease me again, like you always do. Your chat's a little too old. How dare you! I'm a sweet young girl. Fearful. I wonder why this always seems to happen. <laughs> up ahead, Noletta was poking through the bushes in search for flowers. <laughs> Oh, a dynamic. Far behind, Le Leona and Twist were fluttering around under the weight, weight of the cargo. Under the promise of budding trees, we once again failed to travel to school as a proper group of five. Yeah, school. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> okay, that looks like a normal school. And uh, this world seems like... Just amazing, huh? Oh, like green, uh, green grass everywhere, trees, war, uh, forest, um, mountains, just like a place. No city, big cities, maybe there is a big city, but for a moment just, there's just nature and then little places, houses. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Despite of our morning ant antics, 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 we somehow managed to arrive at school early. Upon an entering the one classroom, boarding an arrow, array of empty desk meets us, save for one. Ah, I must really say I like this concept. A world and something bad was happening and people, yeah, some people were getting infected, they're getting hurt. And there's some other ones, like her, she has really lost her eyes, she has lost her arms, the other one has lost his voice. I like this concept of uh, after the apocalypse, basically. Emmy, 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 this. Okay, this is a. Uh, I call her Emmy. Emmy, the uh, illuminating light of early morning. She was there. A, yo a young woman whose presence held a mysterious allure to it, with Emma godly form and perfect posture, she sat unmoving at one of the far side desks. Ah, okay, it's not her name. Good. Cough. Good morning, Irvina. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Audrey. Carlilla. Hello, Audrey. Carlilla. Angeling her head in our direction, Arena, Arena returns our greetings with her regular mood. While I knew Arena was the oldest student in our school, it was difficult to get a good read on her age, with how her eyes were always bandaged over. A flower that suits a day? I couldn't find one. 
<laughs> we we made it. The letter they were there and to his tin as well. Oh. As if taking his call, Twist summoned an east over and kissed the ground. <laughs> Don't mind him. The just Twist being the usually drama queen. I see. <laughs> Something was different about Elwina today. She felt absent minded. Her response is subdued, lacking their usual self poised weight. Is something troubling you, Owena? Now that I think about it, wasn't it odd she was sitting back here at this back row desk? Feel free to tell us about it. I love to meddle, you know. You have quite perspective, aren't you, Adi? With a light cockling, Owena traced her fingers across the surface of the desk before her. It's true that I have something on my mind. As you know, as you may know, none of these desks in the back row are currently in use. Everyone I call a cubes is some spot in the world in terms of space and resources. However, it's not as far as the school is lacking on these. Even forward, the possibility of failing this fascination exists, it reminds unwillingly the rising. Owena's idle hand motion came to a stop, her voice taking in a mysterious tone. It's a strange feeling. This feeling that where something could be, there's no one. Where someone it could be, there's no one. Owena's words conjured a certain image in my mind's eye. An image of her sitting alone lost in thoughts all alone, thinking perhaps of the absent warmth of someone who would be there, be there, here, with us today, had the cards fallen differently. So, Irina, but there might be less space in school than you think. If you look in the desk back there, you find they are all stuffed to the brim with books. Seems like the heart of some hopeless bibliophile. So yeah, we might not actually have any room for new students. The heck? If we don't get any new classmates because at least such a bookworm, I'm gonna be mad. At least my books don't sell me out. <laughs> I suppose it would get where the crumpet give ho how li lively it already gets around here. I will probably have to report the troublemaker using school property without permission through. Take me away, officer. I jest, of course. Schools are le uh, for learning, after all. It is senseless to hit the hen for laying eggs.